my top eight highest recommended sleep supplements to you guys right now. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a review on my top eight sleep supplements of all time. Some of these could be considered to be nootropics. I think that anything that kind of naturally affects your mood, making you more awake or more relaxed to me is kind of like a nootropic in a way. So many people have this urge of, I wanna take something to go to sleep. I want like a little something to calm me down and they take all the wrong stuff. Like, okay, you wanna to go to sleep. What are you gonna take, Tylenol PM or melatonin? Can't stand both those, those are trash. Maybe there is a place for them, I don't know, but for me, they're completely trash. Let's jump right into it with Inositol. Now, just go ahead and Google Inositol and sleep. Now, Inositol is some sort of a B vitamin. I've looked it up quite a bit. I don't know if it's a blend of vitamins or it's one vitamin specifically, but there's a whole article about Inositol is nature's sleeping pill. It is a B vitamin, which usually would help your energy stores and usually B vitamins help with absorption as well. I was a real big fan of Rich Piana's Sleep Blend. A lot of these supplements I actually found on his Sleep Blend. And one of the things he had on this list was Inositol. I basically mix a lot of powders into one. Haven't used it too much on its own, but I use it in my Sleep Blend and I love my Sleep Blend. Okay, L-theanine. Now, if you look at theanine, it's supposed to change your brain waves to kind of more alpha waves from my understanding. To me, I get kind of this relaxed kind of feeling, something I would want at the end of the day, similar to a beer. L-theanine is naturally found in green tea. Some people will come it with caffeine it kind of takes a little bit of the edge off and i do think at the right dose it is good but for me i don't really have too much anxiety with caffeine and i would just prefer to use it kind of as more of a balancer like if your brain feels out of whack take it because it's supposed to increase those like alpha waves or if you've had a little bit too much caffeine i definitely put a little bit in my blend but for some reason i don't know what it is maybe it's just in my head i don't really want to combine too much theanine with tryptophan and i find tryptophan to be superior for kind of relaxation Speaking of tryptophan, let's jump into number three, tryptophan slash 5-HTP. Now, 5-HTP is a form of tryptophan. It apparently is more potent. I've tried both them. I like both them. In a perfect world, I'd probably want a mix of both. I think 5-HTP is found in nature from my understanding, but tryptophan is very, very abundant. From my understanding, tryptophan is an amino acid and amino acids are part of protein. So any protein, almost all proteins are gonna contain some form of tryptophan tryptophan. A lot of people will joke that turkey makes you tired and that's because of the tryptophan from my understanding. So I absolutely love this stuff. Now I will say that every single time that I take it in a blend, it seems to provide an extra level of effect. Only once or twice have I taken it on its own and it's not that I felt bad. I just didn't really like it as much as I liked it in the blend, but it's something that I would 100% always want in a sleep blend. It's one of the most overlooked kind of relaxation and sleep nootropics for sure. I love L-tryptophan. All right, guys, chamomile extract. Now, I actually made a whole video on this. I actually love chamomile extract. Now, if you look online, everything is mainly about chamomile teas. There's very little chamomile supplements out there. Now, they do exist. Most people, when they hear this, they're like, I'll just get some chamomile tea. I bought, I think it's 500 grams of bulk supplements, chamomile, and I've gone through almost all of it. I absolutely love this stuff. It has so, so many health benefits. It's supposed to be good for your stomach. It's supposed to have a little bit of anti anti-parasitic qualities. On top of that, it really, really relaxes you, makes you tired. I absolutely love this stuff. And I think it's underused in the powder form because, I mean, it's top tier. Like I would say it's probably top three. If I had to suggest one overall relaxation powerhouse, chamomile, absolutely love it. Tons of other benefits. I actually recommend trying to get the powder version of it though. All right, lemon balm extract. Now lemon balm and chamomile are almost identical. When you look at the benefits online, they're both, they're both supposed to contain these volatile oils that are supposed to be good for the stomach. They both uh, have tons and tons of health benefits. They, they relax you, it's supposed to be great. I would take lemon balm by itself. It feels great. I've taken it in blends, it feels great. But I just recently looked up that lemon balm calms you down while increasing your alertness, I think. I have to double check. But if it does that, it kind of seems like something you'd wanna use when you're overstimulated. Like you don't wanna to go to sleep, but you just wanna relax a little bit. Certain things like tryptophan or like chamomile, I think those are just straight sleep style blends. So it's like, those aren't really things that I'd wanna take unless I was going to sleep. Um, maybe L-theanine would be something very similar to this, but 
I've used lemon balm to go to sleep tons of times. It's been great. I use it constantly in the sleep blend that I'm talking about. I mix a bunch of supplements in a bag and I take it almost every day. I love it. Totally check it out. It's a little bit more for, I would say, anti-anxiety, but I've used it for sleep for years. I use it in all my blends. Tons of health benefits. Check it out. Okay, passion flower extract. Now this is another powerhouse. Absolutely love this one. I find it a little bit different than lemon balm and chamomile. I find those to be a little bit more similar. Um, it's been a while since I've taken this and mixed a bunch of supplements in one bag, right? A bunch of sleep supplements. And the bag that I mixed it in was my passion flower bag. So I haven't had passion flower by itself in a long, long time, but every single time I've taken it, I love it. And it really does have a synergistic effect having passion flower with chamomile, passion flower with lemon balm, or all three together, or passion flower and L-tryptophan. Just L passion flower is like, I don't know, when I think of passion flower, I think of it as like a relaxation enhancer. Whatever else you're gonna use, it's gonna enhance that. I'm sure it would be good on its own, and I have taken it on its own, but as far as a calm down supplement, sleep supplement, I would not wanna go without this one, Passion Flower. Okay, another really, really underlooked supplement is magnesium. Now, I absolutely love magnesium. It's another one of those things that everybody's heard and it is just so, so underused. People don't know about the high, high relaxation qualities that it has. It's fantastic for relaxation. There's multiple different forms of it. I'm pretty sure magnesium glyconate is supposed to be the most expensive version and it's supposed to be the most for like the brain function, things like that. Personally, Personally, I find them all to be about the same. I would either get probably a magnesium blend, try them all out. I think they all work pretty well. I do want to say they say magnesium oxide is supposed to be the cheapest one. I actually know a girl who swears by magnesium oxide and I tried it a little bit, but just because it is supposed to be the cheaper version, it's supposed to have like some of the least absorption. I try to avoid it. I actually take a lot of magnesium citrate because magnesium citrate is the strongest magnesium as far as being a laxative. Magnesium does have have a little bit of a laxative effect but only by increasing water in the bowels it doesn't hurt anything it doesn't cause any stimulation or really pain it just puts more water in your bowels so that's going to have a little bit of a laxative style effect um, i would probably go for around a gram and i would probably get a, a couple different sources just to have a little blend of everything and then if you want you could take your time trying each one seeing which one is the best for you but that's just what i recommend and i know a friend who has extreme anxiety i have to tell this story he's having a super big anxiety it's Attack. he goes to his dad his dad's like oh he wants you to try some magnesium and gives him like a gram of magnesium and he just passes out like anxiety goes away was able to go to sleep just completely fixed everything so that's kind of like his story about like opening his eyes to magnesium okay the last one we got here is red reishi now this is the one that i have tried the least so i just want to put that one out there all right read somewhere about red reishi increasing estrogen or decreasing testosterone i have no idea but i read that once and i kind of just threw it behind me, but I have tried red reishi quite a bit. I've tried it in blends. It's not like I haven't tried it. Uh, I've tried lots of cordyceps mushrooms. I take that, you know, a couple times a week. I've tried lion's mane, and these are just like, kind of like a next level herb. You always want at least some of these mushrooms on the side, and I really do think that, although I haven't tried this very much, red reishi, from the, all the research that I've done, this seems to be like a really, really big powerhouse. Maybe you've tried it, maybe you haven't tried it, but I'll try to put something on screen that's a supports what I'm saying because I've Googled it tons of times. And when you go get the rundown of each mushroom, red reishi is the relaxation one, the one for sleep. And maybe it has some positive effects on estrogen or hormones based on who, who you are. Maybe you're a female and it's gonna increase your estrogen in a good way, I don't know. But if you want me to do a video on any one of these specifically, let me know down below. Anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Help you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.